Hello! In this video I am going to show you how to import a data file using the load command in MySQL, this time with a real-world example. So we will try the wizard, the automatic import first, and this will not work for certain reasons. So we have to create a table to import the file into, and then we can try the load command again. However, um, this will not work because sometimes the table that we want to import and the data file have different formats. So what we need to do is the step called ETL or extract transform load. We need to map data from the import file to the table in the database server. So in theory, this looks like this. I found this description and also graphic in the book, The Enterprise Big Data Lake by Alex Gorelick. So we get certain data and we need to load it into a database and sometimes these formats differ. So what we need to do is to extract and then to transform this data in order to be able to load it. And that's what we are going to do with the load command. So the, the load command of MySQL provides the possibility to transform values on the fly during the load process. Once we have done this, um, it will still not work uh, because there's a bug in the file. So we need to find the bug and fix the import file. And um, probably there are going to be uh, some iterations. And once we have um, eliminated all errors, if all error messages disappear, then we can load the file uh, into the database server and check the data import. Okay, so let's get started. First, we'll try uh, the wizard. The file that I want to import is this one here, movies metadata from the movies dataset from Kaggle. Let's look at the head. So what you see here, we have many different columns and with different formats. For example, here we have a Boolean. We also have a JSON column. We have URLs, texts, numbers. It's really a good example for a real world file. Um, so let's try the wizard first. Okay, we choose the file here to import, click next, and now we get an error. Why? Index out of range. I guess it's because of um, different special characters probably in the JSON structure here. So um, this is actually not first normal form, so we have unnormalized data. So in table cell values here we have um, more than one value, we have structures, nested structures in JSON, and also we have different special characters. Um, that's why, probably I guess, why uh, the wizard cannot infer the table structure automatically from the file. Okay, so we've tried the wizard, didn't work, so we need to create our own table and fill it with the load command. So I have already prepared a table structure So it's movie metadata, we have budget, genre, homepage, ID, different IDs, languages, and so on, with different data types, JSON, text, integer, uh, decimal, date. And um, it took me about an hour just to infer the correct table structure by trying to load and then um, also um, transforming the values in the correct format, uh, choosing different data types, for example, sometimes integer is not uh, large enough, so we need to change it to a big int and so on. So I've prepared this for you and I'm just going to explain the result here. So I have only um, indicated the columns that I really want to load. So for example, the first two columns I will not load. 
Here the first column is called adult, it's a <coughs> boolean and I'm simply going to ignore this file during the import. The second one is a JSON structure about um, genre. I know the second one is about uh, belongs to collection, about some collection information. I will also ignore this one and the first column I'm going to import is budget, which is an integer. Okay, how did I come up with this definition? Um, first, I copied all uh, columns in the head and then I guessed some data types. I tried to load and I uh, iterated over the error messages until I got a structure that worked. So that's basically the method, the trial and error. <coughs> okay, so we drop the table if it uh, exists and then create it again. Now we have a table and we can import the data into. Next, we need to try uh, to specify a load command um, in a way that we can import this file into the table. Again, I have prepared something. So we use load data local in file. So make sure that you have set global uh, local in file to true on the server and also indicate in the workbench, uh, in the connection parameter, uh, the local in file option to one. It's called opt local in file with underscores. <clears throat> so I have fixed uh, the file because there are some bugs. We're going to look at this later. Now let's just try to uh, import the original file first. So we have a load data local in file command here with the path of the import file. Here we indicate the table to import into. It's a comma separated value. Then um, we have uh, double quotes that possibly uh, enclose values and fields. And the first line um, is a header line, so we ignore the first row. Now what follows is a list of input fields. So here for every input field in the file, I have one, one statement, one line here with a comma. Basically it's a comma separated list of input fields. And I can do two things. I can either assign a variable with the at sign, or I can assign a table column and thus map it directly to the input table. So from the input data file to the um, table in the ASCO server. And if I want to do transformations, then I need to indicate um, a variable that I um, transform down here in the set command. So let's just try and load it without the transformation and see what happens, just to get a feeling why this is necessary. Now, if I want to ignore files, then I just indicate the dummy variable, which is a variable that is not used later. That's also why it's in dark gray here. So I call this variable at ignore, but it would also be called at apple or at x or whatever. As long as I don't uh, use it later, um, this field is going to be ignored. So the first field I want to load is uh, the, the third one, and I'm going to directly load it into the table column called budget. Now genre here, um, I want to transform, so that's why I uh, made a variable. But uh, for now, let's just try to load it as is and see what happens. Okay. We get an error message. not found because um, of a typo. Okay, let's try again. Now we get another error message. The JSON is not valid. So that's why I need to transform this JSON syntax
so it's the column genre. What we are going to do is to create a variable for this input field, which we have here. So by indicating at, we say it's a variable. And down here, I create a transformation for this variable. I create the transformation for this variable. I say the column called genre is equal to a transformation here of um, the variable. I replace all single quotes with a double quote. Okay. Let's try again. We get another error message. So false is not recognized. To import a Boolean variable, we need ones and zeros, which column is it for column video? Okay. So here we create a variable and then we transform the video. So if the text is true, then we indicate the one and else zero. Okay, try again. Another incorrect uh, integer value. So this is an empty string. Integers don't like empty strings. And we need to transform empty strings into actual null values. So I transform the column runtime. I take the original input field and I replace all empty strings with a null value. And I also need uh, the variable here for this input data field. I try again. Another error. Release date, data truncated. And here we have the same difficulty. So for release date, um, we also need a transformation. We simply replace um, all empty strings with a null value. Okay, let's try again. Now we have an error here that um, row 19,730 doesn't contain data. So this is the bug that I talked about in the data file. Um, well, how do you find the bug? I actually looked at this line using Excel, like this. I opened the file in Excel. And here you see there's an anomaly and probably there is a new line character in this text and that's why we have here a new line where there shouldn't be one and this is the error and how do we fix it I copied this ID here and I opened the file in a text editor and then I searched for this string and here we see this is the new line that is the bug here I can just delete the new line character and then save the file 
and try again. And now there's an error on another line, 29,000. I can repeat the process and again until all the error messages disappear. So there are probably three or four bugs in this file. I um, fixed them all. It took me several hours to load this file, but finally um, I achieved the goal. And um, the new file is called Movies Metadata Fixed. And we can try to load this file here. Okay, now everything worked fine. Zero warnings and um, all rows have been loaded. So that's the real world example. So we cannot simply load the data, we need to indicate certain transformations, we need to indicate mappings between, uh, between the data file and the table column, we need to indicate the, the correct data types for every column, and also sometimes uh, fixed values that need replacement, for example, JSON structures or Boolean values or um, null values, we need to handle null values specifically. And then also sometimes we find bugs in import files, so we need to fix those. And then if everything is correct um, in the real world, then after several attempts, we can actually import the data and check the data import. Okay, so it seems to have loaded. We have an integer here. The JSON structure got loaded correctly and um, looks good. So that's how to import the data using the load command uh, in seven simple steps. Thanks for watching and goodbye.